And so I'm going to break down the types of asset that these people have developed. And again, I want to just stress, I'm, I'm using them as an extreme example because we can all see exactly what separates them from the rest of us. But I don't want the separation to go too far because this is the same strategy that I reckon you and I can use, even if we're not quite uh, as far down the path as they are. So the number one asset that you will ever possess, and I say this to every single coaching client I work with, your number one most valuable asset is you. You are the biggest factor in your own success when you look at it in terms of assets. Your experience, your knowledge, your skills, your mindset and personality, your courage, your determination, your resilience, all of these are the qualities that you bring to bear on your next project, whatever that is. You can't create anything that you haven't somehow ingested, taken in from the world or, or um, dreamt up within yourself. From that, you are able to create a portfolio of work. So if you're the best-selling novelist, this is your back catalog of books. Or if you're a, a musician, this is albums. If you're a, um, a performer of any kind, this is the track record of what you've done. This is what people look at when they think of you and they say, well, he's, he or she is the person who did X, Y, and Z. Now, this can bring ongoing income from you in terms of royalty payments. It can also bring opportunities because people see what you've done and then they want to reach out and connect with you. Uh, it certainly makes it easier. If you can prove you've done something, next time you want to propose anything to someone else, they're going to look at what you've already done. And that will be a huge, uh, depending on how impressive that is, that makes their decision very easy. As well as the work itself, you have the intellectual property that is wrapped up in the work or associated with it. So if you've written a book, for instance, you have copyright in that. And so you can license it for adaptation into foreign language editions, into uh, movies, into TV series, into computer games or, or whatever. You may own trademarks that are associated with your work. And again, you can use that to protect and exploit your business. So there's quite a lot, particularly if you have a, a good lawyer, that you can do and a new business development person around exploiting the intellectual property and work that you have already created. And all of this feeds into your reputation. I mean, it's almost a stupid question that I was asking. If you're, Of course, if you're Steve King, you're not worried about your next gig because everybody knows your name. Everybody knows the quality of your work. All the, the important people that you would ever want to work with, they know who you are and they probably want to work with you if you're ever interested. And so this is where we start to see that, you know, the, these in, individual assets, they have isolated value, but where you really get the biggest benefit is when they start working together in concert. And then last but not least, I, we have the category of business assets. So you may well have a company that you use to do business with. You could have a team. You could have products. You could have service lines. You could have business models, uh, all of which help you to take advantage of the opportunities created by your work. So that's what life is like at the top of the tree if you're a big star. So what can we do? Well, I would say we should adopt pretty much the same strategy. Maybe we will never be as rich and famous as the stars, but you know, and you know, but don't let me stop you if that's what you would like to do. But the thing is this strategy works even if you don't become that rich and successful and famous, particularly with the new media landscape we've got with the internet and so on. It's, you can have 10% of that and still have a great life that is very fulfilling uh, creatively, personally, professionally, and very rewarding financially. 